to the Geo Bum Card, joined today as always with uh, Mrs. Cizio and but our special new guest, guest star. Special guest appearance. It's Miss Rogers, everybody. Ooh, how you doing? Hey. So excited to have you, Miss. Oh. How's it going? So, this video is for Year 8. That's why we've got Miss Rogers with us and welcome her Year 8 class that are hopefully all watching at home. Uh, what are we going to be discussing? We're going to be discussing water scarcity. What's water scarcity? Um, you know what? You know who I think should tell us who water, what water who? scarcity is, who water scarcity is, and what water scarcity is. I think Miss Rogers should do it. <laughs> you can't put me on the spot. Oh, we just did. We did. What's water scarcity? What? It, what? It, I, I've heard through the grapevine. There's actually two types of water scarcity. Is this true? Yes. Oh, there okay. is economic water scarcity, and there is physical water scarcity. Really? Well, okay. What, what's what is, the what's difference? That mean? Uh, economic water scarcity has to do with money. So maybe. Um, there's not enough money to pay for infrastructure or to buy water, etc. Um, physical water scarcity is when there just simply is not enough water. So maybe there's a drought or um, another reason that an area or population of people don't have access to water. Yes, it's physically not there. I, I understand. Yeah, that's, cool. Thank so you, that's an excellent. Australia had a pretty big drought. Mm. Um, we haven't been hearing about it much in the news lately because there's been like other it's, stuff happening. other stuff in um, the news. Australia had a pretty big drought, especially New South Wales at one point was 100% in drought. Um, Australia definitely has the money and the infrastructure to get water to people. So it wasn't economic water scarcity. Mm. It, this was an example of physical water scarcity where there simply wasn't enough water. Yeah. Um, and right. we say that that's... Called having, sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> There's three people here. Oh, no, people no, no, no. Uh, it's called uh, having a water deficit, and Australia as a whole has a water deficit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a number of small towns, more than 50 small towns across you know, central and western New South Wales and Queensland just literally ran out of water. There were some towns that went eight, nine, 10, 12 months, with, they were trucking water in because they Mirandai. just. Mirandai. 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 Where's that? Mirandai. Where's that? Yeah, like 80 kilometres south of Tamworth. Oh, oh wow. Well. Yeah, yeah, they just truck it in. Truck yeah, in. for yeah. a long time. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah, for the first time in ever, in, in living memory, um, Gloucester, the, the town of Gloucester ran out of water. The river went, ran completely dry, not, a, not flowing at all. So, How do you yeah. spell Gloucester? Uh, G L Oster. Isn't it a weird one? But G L O U C E S T E R, Gloucester. Like Leicester. Look up how Leicester is spelled. It is not spelled. Americans say Leicester because that's how it's spelled. Leicester. 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 You can't say words anyway, so. I don't have to say British ones. Gloucester. Leicester. Leicester City. Have a soccer team. Are you impressed? Football. There we go. They won in 2016. Uh, so what we're going to ask you guys to do this week in year eight for my class is you're looking at a case study of um, South Africa. South Africa is about to reach day zero, which means it's running out of water completely. And there is a lot of conflict in South Africa about people trying to access water. Does that sound similar to something that's happening in Australia right now? Yes. Conflict over? Coronavirus. Yep. What does everyone want that they can't get? <laughs> Toilet paper. Oh. Toilet paper. Water is the toilet paper of South Africa. Everyone wants it. There's not enough to go around. You never thought you'd hear me say no. water is the toilet paper of South Africa. I don't think that. <laughs> that I love hearing sentences that I suspect have never been said by any human in the past. So. What we need toilet paper. No water is the toilet oh. paper on South Africa. <laughs> Miss, do you have enough toilet paper at home? Yes, I do actually. You do. I'm, I'm, good. I'm so, good. So far, so good. I'm good. We hope that you all have toilet paper. That is my hope for you mm -hmm. at home, year eight. Yes. Um, so watch the video about, and if you're watching from home and you're at a different school, there is some really great documentaries on YouTube for free, we love free resources, mm -hmm. about day zero in South Africa. Mm -hmm. So um, watch those. Yeah, particularly Cape Town last year uh, was at yeah. a point where they were basically had, it was like they were down to what, two months or something like that. Like in, in 62 days time, we literally have no water. Cape Town is a city of like 4 million or something like that. So it would have been completely devastating. They were even talking about it for Sydney a couple of months ago. They was like, oh, oh yeah, in, in a couple, in two years, you know, without significant rain, Sydney might be completely out of water. Fortunately, we got some rain at the end of January. So My like, favorite yeah. part about the Cape Town story is that they kept putting on this date. They're like, all right, this date, we're gonna cut off water in your homes and you're gonna have to come and collect buckets. 
So I'd say, all right, January 1st, it cuts off. Um, and because of that, everyone would stop using as much water and people tried to conserve water. So they got to January 1st and they said, okay, we've actually got more water than we thought because everyone's been so responsible. So now it's February 1st. And they pushed it back like five times because of actions that were being taken by people in Cape Town to conserve water. So it just shows like when it really comes, like push comes to shove, there are a lot of things we can do in our home that actually help us conserve water. Yeah. There's actually an app you can get from Hunter Water, um, just being developed by a, a family member of mine actually helped with the, the advertising stuff, um, where you can download the app and it can track how much water you use and you can see how much water you're saving each day and you can um, almost sort of make a game out of it, like how much, you know, they're gonna set it up so people can, can compete against each other for how much water you can save in a week and that sort of stuff. Everything's a competition. Yeah, now, it, is, yeah. And, and now it is. Oh, I think as Australia being really dry, we should almost always be on some form of mm. water restriction, whether it's level one or level two, mm. because it doesn't really, impact our life that significantly to have a four minute shower or to have a water saving shower head or to have sprinklers that are in drip like that are drip systems and all those things it doesn't really make a difference yeah to our lives right. so i feel like we should always be conscious of i did see the water that we're using yeah absolutely i did see a lot of calls in the media um when we did get that rain in january and february and yeah, the dam, dam levels went up to like 75 percent in a lot of places a lot of people, and we said, oh, cool, we can get rid of the water restrictions. A lot of people said, oh, just let's have that. We just keep it. Because <laughs> yeah. um, maybe that's a good thing so we don't run out of water again immediately if we don't get... The thing about Australia is rain is very, very intermittent and unpredictable. So we'll get a flash flood and everything, like in a week of just torrential rain and then nothing for the next year kind of thing. It's really no way you can predict it. So we should, as Ms. Rogers is saying, like maybe start conserving water now rather than waiting till we're in desperate situations yeah. and now we need to conserve water. Like, let's be proactive about it. And maybe that's something um, as a country that we probably need to consider. Mm -hmm. we, we should be in charge of things. I reckon the GeoBunker would the do a great job of running the government. We definitely, definitely. All right, guys, that is our signing off for today. Stay safe, stay sanitized. Big shout out to Miss Rogers for her first ever um, a video with uh, as part of the GeoBunker at Geo Explain Online. Also, most students working at home, please stay hydrated. Make sure yes. you're drinking lots of water. I put something out the other day for you right about how to conserve water and someone put the suggestion of drink less. No. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, drinking water is a tiny part of your daily consumption. Mm. Drink as much water as you can. Yeah, you, you need it to live. Yeah. Mm. All right. See you later, guys. See you, guys.